this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave. Drop your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie. All the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. What's new? Listen, with the frizz around, things happen that couldn't happen in a million years. Like that? Not. But I'm sure you can tell the difference between what's real and what's not. So, click around and see what happens. And if you need help, click on me. Liz, that's what I'm here for. Well, everybody ready? Saturn is mostly gas and not very dense. In fact, Saturn would float on water. The truth is, no one can land on Saturn. It looks like Saturn had just one flat ring that you could skateboard around. But actually, it has several separate rings and thousands of ringlets close together. They're made out of ice particles or boulders, some as big as the school bus. One of Jupiter's largest moons, Io, is the only moon in the solar system known to have active volcanoes. I want to go to Io to see some of these volcanoes. I want to visit Jupiter's four Galilean moons, Ganymede, Io, Europa, and Callisto. They are called the Galilean moons because they were discovered by Galileo a long time ago. I want to see Phobos and Demas. They're the two little potato-shaped moons, named for fear and panic. Mars has the longest canyon in the whole solar system. It is called the Valles Marineris. It looks like a long scar and would cover a big part of America. Mars used to have lots of rivers and atmosphere, but now the rivers are just dry canyons and riverbeds. And the Martian atmosphere was lost millions of years ago. I want to go to Mars to see if there really are any Martians. I've seen movies about little green men, but Miss Frizzle says in science fiction, all that stuff is just made up.
Scientists used to call Venus Earth's twin. But it's nothing like Earth. For one thing, it's very, very hot all the time. Hot enough to burn cookies and even melt lead. It would be fun to see a block of lead turn into a little puddle. One reason I wouldn't want to go to Venus is that the yellow clouds would burn my nose. The atmosphere is made up almost entirely of sulfuric acid. Venus is very hot because the atmosphere keeps the heat in. This is called the greenhouse effect. You couldn't have much of a party on Mercury. If you cut a ball out of Mercury's atmosphere four miles in diameter, there would barely be enough helium to fill a balloon. I'd get a lot more birthdays on Mercury. Four every year. That's one every 88 days, the time it takes Mercury to circle the sun. I'd like to stand in the right place on Mercury to see the sun rise and set twice in one day. To go to the moon so I could look down and see Earth, and maybe wave to my mom. I'd like to leave my footprints on the moon. They'd be there for billions of years in the dust called regolith, because there's no wind to disturb them. I was rolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December. Oh, May, May, May is the month. May, that's right. May is the year of the month. No, dead Jack Schmidt having a few problems. That's beautiful. This has got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. Three, two, one. Ignition. Run away, Houston. Bags are good. Bags are I wish I'd been on Voyager 2. It wasn't supposed to last for more than five years, but it's gone all the way to Neptune in 12 years, and it's still out there somewhere. Voyager 2 took pictures of Neptune and its moon, Triton, the moon that rotates backward. Triton is one of Neptune's moons, and it has geysers that shoot out liquid nitrogen. to visit Uranus because summer lasts 21 years. Too bad Uranus doesn't have any beaches. Uranus is blue like Neptune, but without the spot. The rings around Uranus are a dark gray color. They appear to surround the planet rather than make a line across the middle like the rings of Saturn. That's because of the way the planet is tilted in its path around the sun. looks similar to another moon from our moon. The gravitational pull of the moon helps cause the tides. Earth has lots of clouds and weather. When clouds swirl round and round in a storm, it's called a hurricane or a typhoon.
The sun is a huge glowing ball of gases at the center of our solar system. More than one million Earths could fit inside it. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. No clouds or no rain either. Without the sun, Earth would be extremely dark. The solar system is our planetary neighborhood and is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The solar system is the sun and everything that orbits around it, including our nine planets, their moons, the asteroids, and comets. Gravity keeps the planets in their orbits around the sun. I'd like to be the first person to go to Pluto. It's the only planet that no spacecraft from Earth has ever visited. Pluto is at the outside edge of our solar system, the last planet before the stars. Pluto and its moon Charon are geosynchronous. That means Charon orbits at the same speed that Pluto spins.